happy new year folks and today i am going to be talking about the best books i have read in 2021 just a disclaimer here these are the best books that i have read these are not any sorts of awards or anything just different books that i read and i loved reading in different categories let's begin and one more thing i would like to clear out these books didn't necessarily come out in 2021 I just read them in 2021 even though most of them did publish in 2021 I am saying 2021 a lot and I okay let's begin so the first no, the first category fantasy ooh I have read a lot of fantasy this year and I have a lot to choose from but undoubtedly the best one that I have read is the name of the wind or the king killer chronicles by patrick rothfuss the king killer chronicles basically you can think of as harry potter but for adults and trust me when i say this it's amazing the magic system itself you will get to know about it when you read it and for honorable mentions i guess i'll add the wheel of time the first book the eye of the world uh, by robert jordan that was also a fantastic read so the next category is thrillers Uh, to be honest this hasn't been the best years of I've, of the thrillers that i've read uh, but of the th- ones that i've read i guess i would call uh, the state of terror by hillary clinton and uh, louis penny the best of the ones that i've read and uh, in the honorable mention i guess i could say uh, the word is murder by anthony horowitz the next category is political non fiction and if you have been following my channel for a while then you will not be surprised by the winner India that is Bharat by J Sai Deepak Advocate and this book is one heck of one heck of a book it talks about several different topics such as civil constitution uh, coloniality and uh, civilization it's it talks about history it's about polit- modern day politics about uh, past politics if you are interested in the genre definitely give it a read the honorable mentions i would mention are AI and the Future of Power by uh, Rajiv Malhotra ji and uh, Unbreaking in India by Sanjay Dikshit. And now let's talk about autobiographies and biographies. And this year, the book that I'm going to talk about, it didn't particularly release this year. It came out two years back, but the sequel did publish this year, and the, it did fantastically as well. The book I'm talking about is Savarkar by Vikram Sampat. Sampat takes a perspective. an unbiased perspective on savarkar honorable mentions that I can, that i can give is uh, asad the invincible and uh, rahul roshan's autobiography uh, sanghi who never went to the shakha just because the title is so damn good now let's talk about self help books and i will be completely honest with you i am not a particular fan of self help books because the most of the self help books that i've read i've found them to be gimmicky but i did read some books this year that really helped me one such book is mastering your life by malti bhojwani trust me and read this book it is so good and one honorable mention that one honorable mention uh, will, will be screen time by beka kedi yeah you can definitely read that one yeah now let's talk about mythological fictions and i have read a lot of mythological fiction this year but the one that stood out to me a lot and this decision was very tough to take was debiani by manjula manjula tekal ji it is a, such a brilliant book it is it i will not give you a spoiler about talking about what the book is about just go pick up the book and read it it is fantastic and one honorable mention i would like to mention is urmila by smriti divan it talks about the ramayana from urmila's perspective who was lakshman's wife now let's talk about history books I didn't read a ton of history books this year, but the ones that I read, the first one, it already like no surprises. India, that is Bharat. I will not talk about it anymore. And the second one, uh, the honorable, uh, the honorable mention is False Allies by Manu Pillai. It was such a brilliant book. This one also, you must read this book also. Now let's talk about translated literature. I read about three or four books on in this genre. and the best one that stood out to me was kashir by sahana vijay kumar ma'am uh, it was translated from kannada to english the the version that i read and it is a fantastic book it will tell you about the plight of the kashmiri hindus you must read this book it is uh, it is amazing it will make you cry and spoiler alert this was my book of the year the best book that i have read in 2021 
and uh, the honorable mention in this category i can give to anxious people by frederick buckman the next category is banking and finance and to be honest i read only one book in this category and it was like really good uh, the book is pandemonium the great indian banking tragedy by uh, tamal bandopadhyay it's published by rolly books and this is also one like really good read uh, the author interviews four uh, past rbi uh, governors yeah so no honorable mention in this category because i read only one book so yeah there was there was one book i would like to give a shout out to it didn't release this year but it was definitely an, an interesting book to read it was a uh, menstruation across cult- cultures the sabrimala confusion by nitin sridhar ji and the book talks about so much menstruation is a taboo topic and the author takes us through all the different perspectives about of menstruation across the world it is a really good book to read i will definitely recommend you to check the book out and now let's finally talk about my best book of the year i have already spoiled it for you guys sorry about that it's kashir by sahana vijay kumar ma'am the book is amazing like i cannot talk about this book enough i have already made a dedicated video about it back in february i guess yeah definitely check it out it is a one of a kind book it is amazing yeah do do check it out 